Hey there friends and foes, this is a back of the cereal box road trip and right behind me is J&B Magic Shop. We're going to go check it out here in New Albany. Let's mask up and head on in. Come on. All right, we are headed in to J&B Magic Shop. How exciting is this? Here we are at J&B Magic Shop in New Albany, Indiana. And this is a real deal magician shop, folks. This is not a tourist magic shop. And already, Brent Braun is back here working with Sarah on the linking rings. Does that make sense? So that's going to allow just enough movement for it to go through. Yeah. All right, we are back here on Back of the Cereal Box with Brent Braun, the owner of Magic Firm and J&B Magic Shop. Say hello, Brent. Hello, how's everybody out there in the internet world? So tell our viewers uh, about the shop and uh, when you opened, how you got started and all the fun things they need to know. Sure, yeah, so I actually started J&B Magic Shop uh, when I was 20 years old. A long, long time ago, and then uh, it's been in a couple different locations. We opened up in this location about a year and a half ago. We've been here. This is a little uh, sort of built as a theater with a magic uh, shop out front. So we've got a 30-seat theater in the back where we were doing shows. Uh, previous to COVID, we were doing shows back there every weekend and having magicians come in from around the country. Now we haven't done a show back there in a while, but we're still running the magic shop. Yeah. And what, uh, what would people expect to experience when they come into the shop? Yeah, I mean, the thing I say all the time about magic is there are a lot of places you can see magic. Uh, they're seeing magic on the internet right now, but I don't think there are very few, many places left where you can actually experience and feel magic. And that's what we're trying to build here. We're trying to build an actual experience where you can come in and have the magic happen in your hands or in your face so that you know it's not a camera trick, so that you know that you're a part of it, so you can really experience it. Again, I think there's a difference between watching uh, magic on YouTube or watching magic uh, on Instagram or, or TikTok or wherever you might be watching magic. I think there's a difference between watching magic and actually feeling it. And that's what we're trying to do here is give you that real moment of, of sort of um, astonishment and amazement. Excellent. Well, is there something you could show us? So this is a trick with four playing cards. Uh, these happen to be the fours. That's the clubs, the hearts, the spades, and the diamonds. And we have the audience. Actually, you can help me out, Mike. I'm just going to have you name one of those. Anyone you want, it's a free choice. Clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds, and we'll use that one for the trick, whichever one you want. Spades. He wants the ace of spades. You won't believe this. No one ever chooses the ace of spades. Never. Are you sure you want to choose that one, or you change your mind? No, I'm good with the spades. He's good with that one. Because uh, it's interesting. You could have chosen this card. right? It was a free choice. What happens if Mike would have chosen the diamond? Believe it or not, I'd have brought this card with me. Right? This card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This, I would have brought this one. It's the diamond, right? right? The trick would have been better, but you didn't choose this one. <laughs> uh, the interesting thing is he had a free choice. He could have chosen that card. What happens if he chooses that card? Well, to be honest with you, I could have failed. But as a magician, I never fail. See, I just brought that card with me instead. <laughs> you didn't see that coming, did you? Nope. <laughs> I'll just set that over there. Okay, that's as dumb as the jokes get. Guys. Um, the interesting thing is you could have chosen the other card, right? That's the club. What happens if they choose the other card? Well, I'd have just left this one and that one at home. I'd have just brought the other one. That's the other one. Yeah, that's, that's the other one. The interesting thing about this is it was a completely free choice, right? Um, you could have chosen any of these cards, Mike. But in the beginning, you so chose one specific one. Which one was that? The spade. The spade. And I said no one ever selects it because some people pick the other card. Some people pick that card. <laughs> some people pick this card. But do you know how often that gets selected? That's never, Mike. That's the final card. Right. It's absolutely never. I've never had anyone choose that one. I don't have any idea. I have no idea how he did that. I'll put this away. I'm sorry, that's embarrassing. Then I'll put this away. We've all been to JB Magic Shop and Sarah got some treats. So share with us what you got at JB Magic Shop. Got a book? The Maximum Entertainment 2.0 version. I'm told it's going to teach me everything I need to know as a magician. So I've heard good notes from somebody about this. Phenomenal book. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited to get reading. It's a big one. Then, wait, this is mine too? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know this was mine too, really? Oh, hey, look at this. It's a book. <laughs> um, I don't even know much about it, John. You just surprised me with this. It is also um, to help you create routines and to create material. 
Oh yeah, it's got a little area to write notes. Mm -hmm. It helps give you ideas for sentence starters. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's yeah, a good, yeah. good piece. That's because it's a start a book. Yep. <laughs> oh. All right, let's see. We got B-Wave, which you just showed me for the first time and it was awesome. <laughs> still don't know how it works because I was trying to catch you and I couldn't figure it out, which makes me feel stupid. <laughs> Let's see. Ghost key. It's a pretty one. It's a nice one. Really old fashioned. Do it for us. This is my sweet spot. Oh. There you go. Yay! Yay! <laughs> That wasn't me, it was a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least. There's more. There's but more. But wait, there's more. My favorite color. Some women like jewelry. I like rings. I got my linking ring set in rose gold. I don't have the move down yet. I don't... There we hey. go. It's a work in progress. They're new. <laughs> and that's it. That's like a whole Christmas for me. <laughs> Merry Christmas.